That's what it is about. That's what is the purpose of the hijab for the Muslim woman. Now, let's take a look. Do you have uh, any examples really of sexual harassment on the job where the man is being sexually harassed by the woman? Is that common? Or sexual abuse on the job? Is it common the man is being abused by the woman? Maybe one in, not in my neighborhood, maybe one somewhere. So is there a common that a man is raped by a woman? So this is the reason for the hijab, for the protection of the Muslim woman from these things. Does anybody have any idea how many reported rape cases we can find in the U.S. in one year? It is a sad and a horrible number actually. But look at 2003, according to the FBI, who are trying to hire people on Morehouse campus. I encourage nobody to join the FBI save yourself, but 93,433 reported rape cases in 2003 in the USA. 93,433. Now this is what? Only what is reported. Now, if you ask experts in this subject, they will say approximately multiply this number by seven to see all the women who were too ashamed to report it, naturally. If you look even in the USA, about in a year approximately 130,000 people embrace Islam or come to Islam from another religion in one year. That works out to about 300 or 400 people a day. And most of them are women. Almost four out of five of them are women. So they go from where no one is forcing them to wear anything until choosing that they are wearing the hijab right here in the good old US of A. Now another common misconception that you hear people talk about even in classes and universities is that Islam was spread by the sword. And this misconception really pales before the books of history. Let us take a look. Spain and India. Both of these countries were ruled by Muslims. Spain was ruled by Muslims for 700 years. At the time they used to call the country Andalusia. India was ruled by Muslims for 1,000 years. That's why you see this beautiful mosque called the Taj Mahal, built by a king. Okay? These two countries ruled by Muslims. However, if we look at Spain and India, India today, are they Muslim countries? They are not Muslim countries. The vast majority of the people in Spain are Christians. The vast majority of the people in India are Hindus not Muslims at all. And when Muslims rule these people, they did not force people to embrace Islam. You can say a lot of people did, perhaps, but they were not forced. Because it is forbidden in Islam clearly 